Turkey has achieved a significant milestone in the history of its modern defense industry by introducing one of the most powerful conventional weapons ever developed, excluding the nuclear capability of advanced aerial bombs. The Gaza, this weapon not only demonstrates Turkey's military technological advancement but also marks a new phase in the mass production of domestically designed and built strategic weapon systems. The development of the Gaza marks a major step in Turkey's defense technological self-sufficiency. Over the past decade, Turkey has successfully developed various weapon systems with a high level of local technology, reducing its dependence on imports and enhancing its industrial export capabilities. This weapon is not only a symbol of Turkey's technical prowess, but also influences geopolitical dynamics. The GAZAP bomb is a conventional, non-nuclear aerial bomb weighing approximately 970 kilograms to 1,000 pounds, equivalent to the MK-8 for class bombs commonly used by many air forces worldwide. However, despite its relatively standard weight, the technology within it makes this bomb far more lethal. One of the Gazap's key advantages is its highly sophisticated fragmentation control system. Instead of randomly producing fragments like traditional bombs, the Gazap features a warhead design that produces 10,000 fragments effectively dispersed. Within the blast radius, this fragmentation rate is equivalent to approximately 10.16 fragments per square meter, significantly higher than that of conventional bombs. In addition to intensive fragmentation, several sources mention that this bomb contains elements of thermobaric technology, an explosive system that generates enormous pressure and heat through the combustion of a fuel-air mixture. This technology, similar to a vacuum bomb or fuel-air explosive, produces temperatures of up to thousands of degrees and highly destructive pressures against structures and personnel. Gazip is designed for compatibility with many Turkish military air platforms, particularly the F-16 fighter jets, which form the backbone of the Turkish Air Force. Furthermore, there are indications that further development will allow for the bomb's integration with other platforms including F for aircraft and even unmanned aerial vehicles drones. In the long term, the Gazip is more than just a bomb. With its high fragmentation characteristics and intense thermobaric effect, this bomb can be used for a variety of military missions, including wide area attacks against concentrated enemy forces, destruction of soft and medium targets such as military or logistics facilities, destruction of fortifications, barracks or vehicle formations, and so on compared to other conventional bombs in its class. The Gazap offers a significant increase in effectiveness because it can maximize the area of destruction without requiring a much heavier bomb or using nuclear technology, which is strictly restricted internationally. The name Gazap itself comes from the Turkish word for wrath or rage, reflecting the bomb's targeted destructive characteristics. This bomb was first showcased at Turkey's largest defense exhibition. The International Defense Industry Fair IDF 2025, held in Istanbul. At the event, Turkey showcased not only the GAZAP as a standalone weapon, but also various other advanced weapons such as the NEB to Ghost Bunker Buster Bomb, also known as Hayalet. The emergence of Gazap also reflects the maturation of Turkey's increasingly self sufficient defense industry. Industry reports indicate that. Turkey has achieved approximately 70% domestic production capacity for defense systems, reducing its dependence on imported foreign military technology. This means weapons like GAZAP are not only designed domestically but also produced on a large scale with the full support of local R&D and manufacturing sectors. This capability is crucial because modern weapons require a complex integration of design, precision manufacturing, and rigorous certification testing to be suitable for use on the battlefield. Turkey now has all of this capability, making it a major player in the global arms market, particularly in the categories of smart weapons and advanced conventional systems. The introduction of Gazap has attracted attention not only in Turkey, but also in many countries around the world. Such a devastating weapon is seen as a strategic tool that could alter the balance of power in certain regions, particularly in the Middle East, Eastern Europe, and North Africa. Some analysts have suggested that such a capability could give Turkey leverage in diplomatic relations and military alliances, particularly with countries that require advanced weapons technology, but do not want to rely on supplies from major powers like the United States or Russia. Furthermore, there is discussion about the impact of exporting these weapons to other countries. Turkey is already a known exporter of Bayraktar combat drones, 
and products like Gazip could be a desirable defense commodity for countries with a high demand. For high-performance conventional weapons, undeniably, weapons like Gazip raise ethical questions about their use in armed conflict, particularly regarding their impact on civilians and civilian infrastructure. When used in non-military areas, international discussions about the use of thermobaric and high-explosive fragmentation weapons often include aspects of international humanitarian law, which regulates the proportional and responsible use of force. The Gaza bomb is not simply a new weapon in the Turkish military arsenal. It is a symbol of the progress of the Turkish defense industry, capable of producing advanced weapons in large quantities and with its own technology. With its high fragmentation capacity, thermobaric effects, and flexible operational compatibility, this bomb expands Turkey's military capabilities in the conventional domain. This development has significant strategic, geopolitical, and ethical implications, which will be closely monitored by the international community, both Turkey's allies and competitors. In the coming years, the development of the Gazip marks a major step in Turkey's defense technological independence. Over the past decade, Turkey has successfully developed various weapons systems with a high level of indigenous technology, reducing its dependence on imports and increasing its industrial export capabilities. This weapon is not only a symbol of Turkey's technical prowess, but also influences geopolitical dynamics. This bomb is depicted as working in a very short time, giving the target almost no opportunity to respond or defend. In stories and technology discourse, the Gaza bomb is often associated with extreme precision, affecting only a specific target without widespread impact on the surrounding area. Another sophistication is its ability to evade conventional monitoring systems making it a major challenge for modern security systems. Conceptually, the Gaza bomb is often associated with an automated or intelligent system that can adapt to the situation. Although this appears more in fiction than in reality, while it sounds sophisticated, the image of the Gaza bomb also raises many concerns. A weapon with such capabilities has the potential to increase global security instability, be misused by irresponsible parties, and cause serious humanitarian impacts impacts. Thank you.